Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Alex, Senior Account Executive at GDMFX. Welcome to uh, today's European Session Outlook. We'll start with the North American market. We had core uh, personal consumption expenditure price index year on year, 0.1% higher than previous. Personal spending month on month, 0.1% higher than previous. Personal income, 0.1% weaker than expected. Pending home sales year on year, 1.1% less than previous at a five month low. And Dallas Fed Manufacturing Business Index 6.3, less than previous. U.S. stocks finished Monday at their lowest level since late August. As concerns about slowing economic growth in China and mixed domestic economic data unnerved investors. A sell-off in biotech stocks added to downbeat sentiment. Nasdaq is down 3%. Uh, the Dow moved 20 points down. Nasdaq 90 points down. Dixie is at 95.78 at the moment. The USD CAD six points up and USD Swiss franc and USD JPY both five points down. Uh, today we have only tire two news, which is consumer confidence and S&P case Schiller home price indices year on year. Uh, investors will be poised for tomorrow's and mainly uh, Friday's news. Uh, tomorrow, we have the ISM manufacturing uh, PMI, uh, the ISM price is paid, and on Friday is the most important news, of course, the non-farm payrolls. Lastly, uh, Putin said that the US-led coalition is ineffective against the Islamic State. All right, on to the EU mar uh, markets, we had the uh, European equities futures fall on uh, fall uh, yesterday with concerns over a Chinese economic slowdown and weakness in the commodity sector weighing on markets. This morning, the German import and export price indexes came out both as expected. Uh, the DAX 30 is 210 pips down, CAC 40, 140 uh, pips down, Euro GDP is 40 pips up, which is the seventh day of gains uh, today. Uh, we have uh, inflation data from Germany coming out, and that's all for Europe. On to the UK markets, the FTSE 100 dropped 2.5% to close at 5,958.86, pulling back uh, after a 2.5% gain on Friday. It was dragged down as shares of Glencore PLC tanked on concerns that a global commodities downturn could uh, upend uh, the, mining, the mining giant, erasing all of its uh, equity value. Today we wait for consumer credit, mortgage approvals, and most importantly, Bank of England Governor Carney speech. It'll be interesting to see what he'll say. Uh, for the Asian and Pacific markets, markets across Asia fell Tuesday as worries about the rep repercussions of a slowdown in China and other emerging markets uh, spread uncertainty to global markets. Original sell-off deepened after China reported Monday that its industrial profits in August had suffered their biggest drop since uh, October 2011. Investors will be looking to manufacturing data later this week for the latest assessment of China's economy. The Nikkei is 447 down yesterday and uh, today it's already 400 points down. Today we have a Japanese retail trade and large retailers sells. The Australian dollar has uh, fallen to a six and a half year low, losing more ground on uh, the back of renewed concerns about the slowing Chinese economy. Uh, during the morning, it fell as low as 69.46 US cents, its weakest level since April 2009. Uh, today we have New Zealand building permits. Right on to the last sector for the day, commodities, Russia's state-run energy giants Rosneft and Gazprom are delaying some offshore drilling by two, or two to three years uh, because of sanctions and weaker oil prices, according to the country's Ministry of Natural Resources. Overnight, uh, gold futures fell sharply on Monday amid, to, amid a wavering dollar as relatively optimistic personal income data reinforced the argument for an imminent interest rate hike uh, by the Fed, and crude futures fell more than 2% 2 on Monday, reversing gains from late last week. 
amid mounting concerns that an interest rate hike by the Fed will weigh on energy prices worldwide. Uh, gold had a range of uh, $20 trading at $1,127. Uh, silver had a range of $0.63 cents at $14.50 now. Crude had $1.40 range at $44.43 now. And natural gas is trading at $2.64 at the moment with a range of $0.08. Cents. Thank you everyone. This was today's European Session Outlook. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.